Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Nando Design Journey. This video will cover designing a special offer for Arisia with Adobe XD using Acid Design. From the definition of special offer, Acid Design to prototype overlay. Let's get started. Before we cover the design, let's figure out the definition of the special offer. A special offer refers to short-term pricing strategies, which can grab customers' attention and encourage them to order more items. Customers can buy a product or service at low price for a short period. Essentially, the characteristics of special offers are the limits and the incentives. The limits can be a period or the quantity you can buy while incentives can be a reduced price. There are some common special offers, such as buy one, get one free, free delivery, discounts, such as students discounts or 10% discounts. Now, I believe you know what a special offer is. So let's move on to the design section. I'm gonna design a pop-off overlay of a special offer for one of my favorite brands, Aresia. In our last video, we looked at the website for Aresia, a Canadian women's fashion brand that sells a variety of trendy lifestyle apparel based on their website design and products. I would say Aresia is so trendy, cool, and energetic. So I think the acid graphic is suitable for Aresia. Acid graphics is kind of psychedelic design that originated from acid house music, electronic dance music, and the hip culture in the 1990s. Stylistically, acid graphics tend to have a high visual impact on the user and are usually presented in op style patterns, geometric figures, gradients, twisted swirls, bright colors, metallic texture, saturated colors, and experimental typography, warmth, upside down, which gives the text a look like a viscous liquid metal. Let's jump on over to XD and begin the design. I'm gonna finish the design on a 1920 by 1080 artboard. The pop-up overlay is a 1000 by 600 rectangular. This liquid swirl and gradient picture takes up a considerable part of the special offers. I use it to deliver the psychedelic backdrop. Though I have kept the interface clean, so the user's attention stays focused on the product and offer. To emphasize the feeling of acid graphics and sales functionality, I place the geometric sales text on the right side. The primary purpose of special offers is to grab customers' attention and deliver discount information. So, I make the sales information stand out by using a large font size and bolding the test. There are two approaches to finish this task. The first way is we need to create every single state and animate it. The file consists of three components, a screenshot of an existing website, a 50% translucent black layer, and our design. Before prototyping, I'm gonna group special offer elements together. Then rename it as Design Overlay. Let's think about the interface of each status. It starts with a regular Aresia homepage. Then the special offer pops up. Therefore, the end interface is a special offer on a shaded homepage. So we need to work with two artboards. First, I'm gonna use Command or Control D to locate one more artboard. Name them as Step 1 and Step 2. For Step 1, only leave the screenshots and delete all other stuff. Go to Prototype mode. Select Step 1 artboard and connect it to Step 2. I want the special offer pop up automatically, so I'm gonna set time as the trigger and change its action type to auto animate. Easing to ease in and duration to 0.2 seconds. 
Let's play it. This looks good so far, but I want to make it look more realistic. We can see the enlarging process of the overlay. So I need to duplicate one more step to artboard. Rename it as step 3. Select step 2 special offer and shrink it a little bit. Go back to prototype mode. Connect step 2 with step 3. Change all parameters like the previous. Trigger to time, action type to auto animate. Easing to is in, and duration to 0 0.2 seconds. Let's preview it. There we go. The second method is using overlay actions. The benefit of this approach is that we don't need to create an artboard for each step. We only need two artboards. One is for the homepage screenshot and the other is for the overlay elements. Duplicate it. Like the first approach, I will delete all other parts except the screenshot for the first artboard and rename it as background. However, on the second artboard, the only thing we need to delete is the screenshot. Everything is all set. Next, I will prototype it. Just like in method 1, where these two artboards and change its trigger to time. This time, the action type is overlay rather than auto animate. After clicking it, you can see a green block on the background artboard. It shows where the overlay locates on the first artboard. Change its animation to dissolve, easing to its in and out. Let's preview it. Looks good. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions and comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Like and share. See you in the next one.